Long-Term Test Review, Nissan NP300 Navara. Third report, we do the sums to see why pick UPS like our Nissan Navara are such a hit. Verdict. Four star. Despite a few compromises, the Navara makes a compelling choice for businesses and company car users looking to cut their costs. The growing UK pickup market confirms thousands of people are already persuaded that now is a good time to start, or keep on, trucking. Mileage, 7,930. MPG, 28.8 MPG. The underlying reason for the pickup truck's success in the UK is simple, tax. You might not think it, but these vehicles can save you money thanks to a loophole in the system, so we've crunched the numbers to see whether the business case stacks up for the Nissan NP300 Navara we're running on our fleet. If you were looking for the root cause of the pickup's popularity, you might entertain their bold looks or carrying capacity. However, their success can be traced down to the bottom line. Pick UPS make financial sense if you run a business or are a company car user, and we couldn't undertake a long-term test of the Navara without exploring why. Pickup trucks have closed the refinement gap to their SUV cousins, which only serves to make the savings on offer over equivalent passenger cars look more appealing. But the Navara is actually classed as a commercial vehicle, and that means businesses buying one can reclaim the VAT. This turns the £30,145 on the road price into an attractive £25,168. And the boost to your bank balance doesn't end here. If you run a Navara as a company car, you'll sidestep the whole CO2 emissions-based benefit in-kind company car tax system in favor of a special arrangement for double cab pickup trucks with a one-ton or more payload, the Navara can carry 1,047 kilograms. Instead of paying company car tax on a percentage of the purchase price determined by the vehicle's CO2 emissions, all PIC UPS have a set benefit in-kind rate of £3,170. It means that a lower-rate taxpayer only has to hand over £634 a year, while a higher-rate earner will part with £1,268. Compared with a Honda CR-V 1.6 iDEC 160 in plush SR trim a mid-sized SUV with a similar price tag and spec the difference is clear. A 20 percenter taxpayer choosing the Honda will be looking at a £1,624 bill in the 2016-17 tax year a hefty £990 more than you'd pay for the Navara. A 40 percenter taxpayer will be looking at a £3,249 bill in this tax year and £3,749 by 2018-19 which means a potential saving of £6,693 over three years by choosing a Nissan as a company car rather than a Honda. Would they be mad to? Or mad not to? After three months behind the wheel, we're in a great position to deliver the verdict, and it's positive albeit with a few caveats. The Navara is often unwieldy, but if you can live with some mild rumble and a bit of bounce from the suspension, it's a relaxing drive. The massive load bay is great, but not when you have to collect your shopping from its corners after it's rolled around. In the rear seats there's space for three adults, and fitting child seats is a breeze due to the high floor. Nissan NP300 Navara, Second Report Addition of load cover gives our Navara a practicality boost. Mileage, 5,364. MPG 27.5 mpg. It's a commercial vehicle, the tax man says so, the dvla says so and any number of farmers, builders and landscape gardeners throughout the land wouldn't disagree. And yet the Nissan NP300 Navarro wants to be so much more. Pick UPS today are very much dual use. Ironically, it's mainly that classification as a commercial vehicle, and the tax advantages it entails, which makes double cab trucks like the Navara attractive options for family car buyers.
So we're asking whether a pickup really can make a good family car while we keep the Nissan on our fleet. The first step to giving it a fighting chance is to fit a load cover to the rear, to finally create a boot, something high on the priority list of family car buyers. Without a cover, a double cab truck is completely lacking in secure load space, so you're forced to shove whatever you need to carry on the back seats with your passengers. With one of the numerous load covers that Nissan includes in the 125 strong dealer fit accessory range, you've got a big, lockable, weatherproof storage area out back. In other words, a similar arrangement to a large SUV which the Navara is aiming to present an affordable alternative to. We had a hinged aluminium cover fitted to our Navara at Motor Point Nissan in Maidstone, Kent. At 1,800 pounds, it takes the total price of our Tecna test car with options to 31,794 pounds. That's a fair outlay for a commercial vehicle, but still significantly cheaper than large subs like the Mitsubishi Shogun and you sure get a lot of metal for your money. With the flip top rear, there's a lot of space in the plastic lined load bed, another 360 pounds option. It should be plenty for a selection of holiday luggage or even a couple of children's bikes, while features like adjustable load tie down points help secure your stuff on the go. Inside, the Navara does a very passable impression of a modern SUV. Tecna trim gets leather seats and a 7 inch infotainment system with SAT NAV. DAB and a 360-degree color reversing camera. Plus, aside from some harsher plastics, it feels similar to Nissan's X-Trail SUV, although rear legroom isn't as good. However, there are obvious differences. Compared with even the most off-road focused subs, the Navara is agricultural, even if it is a more refined pickup. The clunky manual gearbox in our model is probably the single biggest issue, and makes the 1,700 pounds automatic look a sensible buy. The Nissan is 5,330 millimeters long and 2,085 millimeters wide with its wing mirrors, so it's not the easiest thing to thread through a multi-story car park. Yet on the open road, it's reasonably car-like. There are noticeable vibrations through the steering wheel and gear lever, but the 187BHP 2.3-liter twin-turbo diesel unit is well suppressed. The 27.5 mpg economy we've been averaging is disappointing, although given the Navara's size and weight, it isn't too far behind some 4x4s. Nissan NP300 Navara, first report. Posh new pickup has arrived on our fleet with a point to prove. Mileage, 4,688. MPG, 44.1 MPG, official. Nissan has been very bullish about the merits of its new NP300 Navara pickup. When I recently met up with Javier Pires, light commercial vehicle director of the firm's technical center Europe in Barcelona, he was unequivocal about what Nissan is hoping to achieve with the Navara. We have a concept of being tough and smart, enhancing the utility as a tool but giving SUV kind of comfort and performance in general, he told me. When you experience the Navara on the road, I hope you forget what you have behind the seat. You will feel like you are driving an SUV on the road, good handling, good comfort, good NVH noise, vibration, and harshness, he continued. So can it really be true? Has Nissan managed to perform a transformation so magical that the rough and ready, roly-poly, utilitarian pickup of the past is consigned to history? That's what we'll be aiming to find out having taken delivery of a new NP300 Navara Tecna double cab in unmissable bright savanna yellow paint. One thing that is clear from the outset, though, is that while the pickup is being redefined, the dimensions remain as uncompromising as ever, at 1,840 mm high, with roof bars, 5,330 mm long and 2,085 mm wide, the Navara is unquestionably a vast machine. Climb inside and you'll find a cabin that's a world away from some of the let's be polite here functional interiors you previously used to associate with PIC UPS.
The leather seats of our well-equipped Tecna model are the first indication that the Navara recognizes that even pickup buyers want to enjoy a few of life's luxuries, too. A leather steering wheel, gear knob, and handbrake continue the feel-good factor, while heated front seats and automatic aircon with dual-zone climate control ensure you'll always be comfortable, no matter the conditions. There's a wealth of gadgetry, too, and the Nissan Connect 2.0 SAT NAV and entertainment system takes top billing, with highlights such as easy-to-navigate DAB radio, a color-reversing camera, a 7-inch color touchscreen and Bluetooth audio streaming. So far, so posh then, but the great news is all this finesse doesn't come at the expense of the practicality you'd expect of a pickup. The double cab layout ensures there's more than enough space for six-footers in the second row of seats, while a bed of 1,578 mm length by 1,560 mm width means we can carry some sizable loads. And on the road. We haven't ventured too far afield yet, but what is clear already is that the Navara rides a lot better than PIC UPS of the past. That can probably be attributed to 5-link coil spring rear suspension, which, claims Nissan, reduces friction significantly, improving the ride. It's still bouncy, certainly, and despite what MR Pyrrhus says, you'd struggle to mistake it for an SUV. But it is a genuine advance. A long throw 6-speed manual gearbox, slightly rowdy 2.3-liter diesel and part-time 4-wheel drive complete the package. We're looking forward to getting the Navarro loaded up and piling on the miles to see if this new breed of pickup really is a winning blend of tough commercial vehicle and pampering passenger car. Key Specs On fleet since, April 2016 Price new, 29,100 pounds Engine, 2.3 liter 4 CYL, twin turbo diesel, 188 bhp CO2 slash tax 169 G slash KM slash pound 230. Options, rear differential lock, 500 pounds, front and rear rubber mats and bed liner protection, 299 pounds, aluminium entry guards, 95 pounds. Insurance, group, 38 quote, 827 pounds. Mileage slash MPG, 5,364-27.5 mpg. Any problems, none so far.